Maybe it's severely underrated. It could be severely underrated from the factory. Okay, boys. Well, the bad news is my key holder thing is, is becoming severely overweighted. The good news is we're taking the Hellcat and the Lambo. Be a little bit more careful opening the door with the monster. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. As always, uh, this door and that door. We're dropping off the Urus for Expel, and I figured while we're gone over there, we might as well take a quick detour to Mexico. It's beautiful there, as always. Bobby's here. I'm your chauffeur. And I figured why not, since we're going to Mexico, race the Hellcat and the Urus. I, I feel like that should be fun. What do you think, buddy? Who do you got? I got the Hellcat. Yeah, man. I mean, that's... All right, I'll take the Lambo. I'll, ta I'll take, take the, the Lambo? Lambo yeah. Okay. No, we gotta be different here. Oh, Maybe it's severely underrated. It could be severely underrated from the factory. Uh, the Hellcat is heavy, but not as heavy as that. I don't think. Are you driving the Urus? That'd be 6,000 easy. No, I'm, I'll drive the Hellcat. You want to drive the Hellcat? If I drive the Lambo, it's going to win. So I think you think that might be the way to go. Just a yours, like four thousand pounds. I don't know. We're gonna look it up. I have no idea how much a yours is. Urs. pretty surprising. Urs is four thousand eight hundred and fifty pounds, which means, which means a five passenger all wheel drive SUV built by Audi is only four hundred pounds heavier than a two door muscle car. That's right. I said heavy. It's a big old Hemi, I guess. 640 horsepower, 707. This is uh, 400 pounds lighter. I can't believe the Hellcat is the lighter one and that, that rarely happens where the Hellcat is the lighter one when you're racing two, two vehicles, but 400 pounds lighter and roughly 67 more horsepower. 640 in that, 707. The other advantage of the Urus is a, has a fast transmission. The Hellcat has me as the transmission. Take those. Yep. All right, give us uh, the good cold start here. All right. Oh yeah. I'm really not sure which one will sound better. I think the Hellcat by a little. <laughs> but that Lambo sounds really mean, really mean. Corsa. But like if I say I'm in second gear, I can like pop this through modes while I'm yeah, just yeah, like yeah. any other car. Okay? Yeah. You can press that and go manual mode when we get there. It could go either way. It, it really could. You know, VW, Audi, Lambo, all the same. They underrate their cars. And when we go from the dig, I think the Hellcat's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> Did you just ask me? How do, how do I back up? I don't know how to go in reverse. You pull that lever towards you. No, the big, uh, the big one in the middle. Oh, this, okay, yep, yeah. You R. click that back. Bam. All right, awesome. Good job, bud. Just going first, just paddle up. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's race. I don't know if it's the cold or the car got used to it or what, but this thing sounds incredible. Now it doesn't do it. Of course, I turned the camera on and it doesn't do it. But it's been popping and crackling all morning. <laughs> oh my God. It sounds, I can't believe these cars sound this good with just a little muffler delete. It's what you gotta do. If you have a Hellcat, cut that muffler right out. <laughs> it sounds like, it sounds like it's got a burble tune. Not sure if you can hear it much on camera, but. Take my word for it if you can't hear it. It sounds incredible. It does. It sounds so epic. I don't even think I don't even think I, I would get a tune or anything on it. I would just leave it the way it is. It sounds good. You know, you're never gonna be the fastest one out there. Maybe put like an intake or something on it. But all I really care about is the sound. And and it has to be like at least a little fast. And I think even a stock Hellcat is it's quick enough to be a lot of fun. I doubt you can even hear it, so I'm gonna sound like an idiot, but 
it's, it's got great pops, boys. Great pops and great crackles. Well, anyway, we're gonna find out which one is faster, a Lamborghini Urus or a Hellcat regular one, not a red eye. Uh, it should be it should be close really I, I think it it could go either way you ready You in first? Yep. All right, ready? than a Hellcat. I think we went pretty far up there in the speed, all the way up to 55 miles per hour. And uh, he was, I, I looked over, I'm pretty sure he was catching me. It's insane. I do a lot of racing, not often do I look over and see a gigantic SUV right there. Good thing about having a manual is you can rev it real easily, but the Lambo is really easy too. And that's of course an auto. The ZR1 is not so easy. Oh my God, can you believe that? And again, guys, bone stock except for a muffler delete. Anyway, the Corvette, you pop it in neutral and then it takes like a few seconds to kind of figure out what gear it wants to be in. Like the Urus goes right back into gear. Like it, the transmission knows exactly what to do. The Corvette gets a little confused and then you got your good old fashioned man stick here. You can do whatever you want. This blows me away. I love, I love the way this car sounds. Like it blows me away how good the pops and crackles are bone stock on this thing. Okay, and here we are. Now the good news is you don't have to hear a merch plug because the giveaway is over. It's over guys. So no, no, I know I'm really sad about it. Uh, the merch plugs are my favorite thing, but um, it's over, it's over. So we will be calling a winner here in about, should be about 10 days usually. That's a pretty good guess. Uh, within 10 days, um, we give all the data to the company the third party company that does it, you know, all legit and everything, which a lot of people still message me and ask like, hey, can you just give me the truck? Like, no, uh, I'm not going to jail. So they pick a winner and then they get back to us and it usually doesn't take too long. So uh, keep an eye on my, it's, if you don't follow my Instagram, you should, uh, at streetspeed717. I give updates on there when we're gonna call the winner. Uh, so put on notifications, you can turn them off right after the giveaway, turn them off, I don't care. But um, follow my Instagram and keep an eye out on there because I, I tell everyone, like days in advance and then the day of and then like right as we're calling you got to get your phone you got to keep your phone on you and get ready you just line it up at the door what yeah urus baby urus dude <laughs> that th that thing is so fast it's insane were you catching me up top 
Up top, yeah. I think you were, we, yeah. If we would have had a lot of um, a lot more room, it would have been good. <laughs> I, I looked back and I think I was like, I think he's catching me, and I was foot to the floor in fifth gear. Yeah, it was. Uh, Honestly, like when I like when it dug in, I was like, "Wow, this, like we're winning." And then obviously, like you're gonna start to catch up. And then yeah. at the very end, it's like, "Wow, we're coming back." I couldn't believe the US that. Has it? Well, I thought I was so cool looking, and then you come up laughing and say this thing looks ridiculous. It do, well, it looks ridiculous because it's no, it, it looks cool, but it's like a gigantic yellow SUV, and it's here it is next to a Hellcat. Yep, keeping up, keeping up. Wow, that's what he's looking like in person. I thought yeah. that was like a camera effect. The reflective thing? That's Yeah, they look like that in person. No, that's pretty that's cool, yeah. It, it doesn't really show up much on camera. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? What Quit are you making doing? gestures. Why are I'm you here, to, dude? I'm trying to film. Can I help you? I take my job very seriously. You film. <laughs> Please stop doing this to me. I'm so confused. Now, we gotta I talk thought all these this. videos were for <laughs> up, dude. You're leaving? Yeah, yeah. Love you, Curtis. Smells good in here. So is that a clean floor and this is before? No, it's still dirty. <laughs> Looks sick. Water? Bobby? Yeah, I'll take one, man. I'm good. I'm actually good. I just wanted to catch it. <laughs> All right, and there it is. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out Shane's YouTube channel, he is uploading now. He's got an editor. Nick, cool guy. Yeah, consi he's got uploads. So if you want to see like behind the scenes stuff at InChain Designs, all the cool, they, they work on a lot of projects that I don't even like have time to show and like you wouldn't see. Um, definitely check them out. Give them a sub. Got the POV hat on. POV hat, buddy. It wouldn't look so bad except for it's got that little thing sticking out yeah. the back. It's like a sticker you keep on it to make sure it's a little tail. Yeah. I used that for racing today, so I'm excited to I see. Know, uh, <laughs> if they're you're like, okay. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to race like looking halfway over this yeah. way. Um, it's like it looks good, right? Safety first. Uh, um, I forget what I was saying. I forget Curtis now. Corner. Curtis Corner. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, heading home. Hellcat. That is it for the Hellcat and the Urus race. That was pretty fun though. That was definitely fun. It still like blows my mind. I just can't, like this is a two door coupe and it's 4,400 pounds and uh, the gigantic Audi built SUV is 4,800 pounds. It's kind of unreal, but the Hellcat's really cool. It's a quick car. Remember this is uh, stick shift and bone stock. Uh, little muffler delete, but that doesn't really do anything. So. It's a quick car and a lot of fun. So we're back now, babe. Who, what, what car do you think won the race from a roll? The Hellcat, sadly. Yeah. Okay, you're right. And what now? What about from a dig? My car. Absolutely. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you have it, folks. We pretty much. I mean, pretty much what we thought. I guess the Hellcat is the favorite from a roll. Uh, as you would expect, it is lighter. It's not that much lighter, believe it's it or not. not. Like somehow, it's not that much lighter. But uh, it seems as though the doors are literally as heavy as the Lambo. I mean, it's They're it's unreal. Heavy. It's a two door car, <laughs> and it's only four hundred pounds lighter than a five passenger all wheel drive SUV. But there you go. So the Hellcat is faster. From honestly, I was kind of I was surprised. I thought barely. Yeah, I, I mean, really, I was kind of surprised at how quick the Lambo was. Oh yeah. For the past couple of days that I've been driving it around, this car has the best sound system I have ever heard in my entire life. Like, no joke. It's the bass, I got in it and I played a Travis Scott song and the bass was so loud. I was like, oh my God, the previous owner must have it turned up all the way. So I go to the equalizer and it's like, it wasn't turned up at all. I actually turned it down two notches because in the trunk, this might be why it is so heavy. There are two like 12 inch subs in the trunk of this car and they're factory. They're not, they're not aftermarket. I'm talking factory subs, but this thing is unbelievable. And that's what the Hellcat is really all about. It's about cruising in comfort. You got a great sound system. You got like lazy boy, armchairs to drive in and the value proposition is pretty insane. I mean, they have built and sold so many of these things. Parts are cheap to get. Uh, you can get a clean used one for 40 grand. I mean, where are you gonna get 700 horsepower for 40 grand and it's a good platform to mod on. You, like I said, you put a pulley, uh, you do a little pulley and exhaust and intake, put it on E, you can make 900 wheel pretty easily and it should be reliable if you're if you're being careful. Talked about it being terrifying before, and, and the reason why is because like, 
you know, when I, like I started out on an old 89 pickup truck and then I got uh, cars that were gradually faster. I and I really don't think that many people are prepared for what this car is, but hey, you know what? It, whatever, it's cool. Like I said back in the day, like I said to Doug, you gotta respect it. It's a great car, it'll handle, and you can be safe in it, but you have to respect the power. That's about it for you. Still no update on the C8. I'm working on that, guys. I'm trying, you know, I'm try I'm asking Beaver every day. I'm trying to figure out, you know, I'm looking at all the forums and everything. Uh, Rick Conti on Instagram posted a really cool thing where you can watch a nearby traffic cam and you can see the National Corvette Mu Museum and the plant and you can watch that traffic cam. You can, li you can watch the live stream traffic cam and you'll see when the delivery trucks leave the factory. So that's really cool. Now, the only thing is you'd have to literally sit there and watch, but I'm sure someone is. Somebody out there is sitting at their computer or holding their phone in front of their face and they're watching that traffic cam and we'll know exactly when the trucks start leaving. But that is the last update I have for you. A really cool thing, you can watch that traffic cam. We're waiting on the C8. And then when we get it, I'm thinking as soon as I get past whatever break-in period there is, I'm sure it will be like the C7s and it will be 500 miles. Then we'll do a little C8 versus Hellcat race. I think we might be able to be uh, one of the first ones out there. Hellcat, stock Hellcat versus stock C8 Corvette. I think, you know, the Hellcat's gonna blow it away. Again, this is a base model vet, don't get it twisted. A lot of people are talking like, oh, it's not that fast, you know, like it doesn't look that fast on the track and everything. It's a base model. It's not like, it, it's not that much faster in a straight line and whatnot than a base C7. And we know that's not a fast car but you wait for the ZR1, then you're then we're talking. But yeah, I think even the base model C8 is going to be really impressive. It might not be crazy fast in a straight line, but it's going to be an all around, overall really impressive car and an incredible value, but we'll see. Hellcat versus C8 should be coming at you soon. If you enjoyed this upload, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys. Watch out, big. Wow, that is disgusting. That's so crazy. It's huge, though. What type of shark is that? Wow, it smells horrible. Oh, it does smell so bad. Oh my God, it's huge. I do not know what type of shark that is. Uh, Taking a walk it's and there's got... a shark on the beach. Yeah, don't forget the family vlog, too. Absolutely disgusting. It so smells it's, horrible. It's got that really mouth that. though, like a uh, like a great white. You know, that's pretty terrifying that we swim in this ocean in the summertime, and this is just sandbar shark, maybe. Us. Look at the no, teeth. Not a sandbar. We can take a tooth. Can we take a tooth? Oh, well, we could illegal? take a tooth. I don't think it's illegal. I've uh, always wanted like a real shark. If we had smell a vision, like. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys would be like, oh my god, it smells real bad. I'm wow. sure there's things living in there. Flies have already taken uh, taken hold here. This right, is gonna gross. You're going to grab it, babe. You're going to grab a tooth. First you're going to put your hand terrifying. in that mouth. It, it just, it's, the vultures already ate the eyeballs. See, the eyeballs are gone. It's obviously totally dead, but the, fa That's like, what the they thought go for. of putting my hand in a shark's mouth is terrible. What kind of shark it is? Somebody in the comments will know. I'm literally terrified to do this. Grab that nice one right there. I know, but it's scary. Like, it's going to come to life. I can't believe you're doing this.